um, balancing the stack, right? So where where do what do you think people have like some some? And I want to talk about vulnerability management, but I want to talk about some other things. What do you think people have overspent on, and what do you think they've underspent on generally? Well, I think they definitely underspent on vulnerability management. I think they underspend on security awareness training. I definitely think they overspend on EDR, MDR, because it seems they've got every kind of DR they can possibly get. And the reality is a lot of those vendors have multiple products in there. So they're buying this one for that, but they also have that. They're buying the. So, you know, what I find is a lot of them yeah. are overbuying in the reactive side and underbuying in a lot of cases in the proactive side. But they're. But there's a reason exactly. for that. Proactive is hard because you actually have to get your customers to buy into it. And, you know, security awareness training is one of them where, like, when I talk about this is just part of your stack, you can't literally force someone to take those. You can, you can get your CEO on board and tell them if they don't take it, they're going to be docked, pay, or fired, but you can't force them. So the proactive side in general, I think is something that's underspent on. And I think the reactive side is overspent on. And to be honest, I even think the testing, the assessment side, the pen testing side is underspent on. Yep. So, uh, that's, that's clearly, I mean, we, you know, we, we've been doing a lot of this. So our company, right, our sister company does the services and pen testing as an example. And a lot of them are, they're just doing that and, and you know, companies need that against checkoff item once a year, kind of end of the year type of thing. So that's been sort of an isolated tool. And then, you know, vulnerability assessments have been kind of the, in the past, been the checkoff item, right? And I think that's really much more moving to the, the management, right? The proactive looking at devices, fixing them, remediating, patching, et cetera. So being much more interactive. And there's a lot of misunderstanding between those, between the pen testing and vulnerability in our case, in our statement is, is that you really need to do both, right? Because you're, you are you can't test once a year for exploits and try to see where you can get in. Um, but the proactive play, and, and part of that is the MFA and other things, but really the vulnerability assessments and ma ongoing management is where you continuously improve, right? And again, kind of going back to the insurance requirements, they're, they're not wanting you to just check a box once a year. They're wanting you to continue sort of continuous insurability, right, as a, as a thing. And that's sort of that combination of where, um, where, so I, where this, you know. 